Hey Star Wars fans, welcome back to another video. Just want to talk about the new reveal, bit of a surprise overnight. I uh, woke up this morning to find out that uh, we're getting a new addition to the Gaming Greats line, um, as well as a bit of a reset, uh, bringing the Gaming Greats to the new style of packaging for the Black Series. And we're kicking off with Cal Kestis here from Jedi Fallen Order, and this is a... Uh, Sort of a repack, repaint figure, but it looks absolutely fantastic. I'm really, really excited about this thing. Um, yeah, there's, they've given him new paint deco, new accessories, all the good stuff. It's it's a deluxe version, so we're likely to see more of this um, sort of thing coming out in the future. Hopefully, this means that they're not going to completely just leave Jedi Fallen Order where it was. Um, maybe release some variants. Uh, you know, maybe a second uh, second sister uh, with the new head sculpt uh, without the helmet. Was it a second sister? I think it was second sister. Um, yeah, this cow comes with a range of accessories. He's got the new poncho, um, which looks pretty damn cool. Would have been nice to... I thought we would have gotten that with the first release, but um, it looks pretty decent, if you ask me. Um, I'm really liking the uh, option to have hood up or hood down. You can see in the packaging here, he has his hood down um, and a hood up option next to it. Uh, he also comes with a holocron just there to his left, your right. Um, just under the hood there, that looks pretty cool. A, a repaint of BD-1. Yeah, he looks pretty cool. That's a, um, That was a color scheme you got as a bonus, as a pre-order bonus with the game. And then it was later added as an extra anyway. Um, the little creature you see on his right, your left, um, is a Bogling from Bogano, which is one of the first planets you are introduced to in Jedi Fallen Order. And the accessories next to him as well, two lightsabers. This is cool. So you get the standard sort of broken half half hilt with the blue, blue blade, which came with the original cow. And then you get his reforged double-bladed lightsaber, which looks really, really cool too. And kind of bums me out because I just did a custom of it. <laughs> um, but you can check that out on my video. I'll try and my best pop a link. If not, there'll be a link in the description. You can see what I did to customize my Cal Kestis. I'm really liking the look of, of his outfit. Oh, purpose, I honestly think the... Uh, the, the poncho will look a lot nicer on his blue outfit, but I'm really liking the orange jumpsuit that he has. Um, he does cover a couple of options in the game for, to, for changing that sort of under jumpsuit. Um, I don't recall orange being one of the colors. There was, I know you get the sort of the brown, there was a really sort of dark, almost black. Um, there was a like a sandy color. And uh, I think there was like a forest green uh, just for that, just for that jumpsuit that he wears underneath all his ponchos um but yeah this poncho is sort of the one you start off the game with on on uh the planet he begins with i'm just completely forgetting what that planet was <laughs> what was called at the moment but um it's looking pretty good i'm i'm liking the look of it so i'm just sort of scanning through some images here um just getting a good look at cow and s seeing all the different poses and stuff we can get him in he looks pretty good um yeah it was, it's pretty much a surprise to most of us um i think i don't know if anyone was expecting this I'm not sure if this one wasn't even in the rumor mill that i'm aware of um but it's good i'm i'm liking the love to the gaming greats line I, i'm really enjoying that um I hope it's not too full of repacks i'd love to see some new characters i think that's really important for the line going forward um Especially they've uh, designated the box with a different color. And uh, if we uh, jump to the side image here, which I've sort of gone in Photoshop and tweaked it a little bit and uh, stretched it out. So I've sort of cut it off and, you know, done all the Photoshop magic. Um, you actually see on the left there, which appears to be a Imperial Jump Trooper, which was out quite a few years ago now. Um, and that was sort of part of Star Wars Rebels, um, the little flying flying jet troopers uh, from from Star Wars Rebels. So it looks like they may get a release in the gaming greats line as well, because they do appear in multiple games. Um, so we'll see if that 
is a thing. It kind of looks like the same sort of thing on the side there. And the fact that this, the background actually struck me, it's uh, the, the big statues of Zepho on Zepho, on the planet Zepho, which is uh, one of the big major planets you visit in the game Jedi Fallen Order. Um, so I'm excited to sort of see where that background goes forward, um, hoping it will lead into more Jedi Fallen Order figures. Like I said, a uh, second sister, not second sister Inquisitor, um, Trilla was her name. I'd uh, love to see her with a, with a head sculpt of, of her without a helmet on. That would be fantastic. Uh, Grease would be a cool figure to have. Night Sister Meryn, she was a fantastic character. I'd love to see her as an action figure as well. Uh, so many options. Really, 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 really cool. But yeah, the the little inclusion of the boggling is just a cool little accessory, cool little character that I love that um, Hasbro has put in put into this set it looks looks really good so uh yeah let me know what you think in the comments below you excited for this one i know i am um yeah just the look of the way that the poncho that sort of sits over the top it just looks really nice um and yeah i'm just sort of clicking around myself here at the moment because i'm a little bit excited about this one um yeah I'm, it, probably will get a few little tweaks here and there i may end up putting the um i do have three cal kestis figures from the original gun of from the original line uh when he, when he came out um so i may do a little bit of mixing and matching and put the poncho on the blue outfit i think that'll look really striking and you know just a cool poncho on the orange it looks good i, th I, I dig it i really do um Again, these may change as as they come out, but uh, we'll see. But yeah, again, let me know what you think in the comments below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do. It'd be greatly appreciated. And uh, yeah, thanks for tuning in, guys. Until the next video, may the force be with you, always. We're a little rushed, so if you'll just get on board, we'll get out of here.